Hello and welcome back to the Monsters of Monster Hunter Double Cross, where today we're taking on Dread King Rathalos in a quest that I am not looking forward to. Because you see that thing that's there with it? That's one of the deviants that gives me the most trouble. And it's on Ingle Isle. And whether we kill it or not, the Rathalos will show up. So just generally... I'm probably going to have a bit of a bad time, but hopefully you folks watching will have a good time. That would be nice. Just getting insurance here along with some Thunder Res. And yeah, I mean, if you're watching this, you already know that we'll get the Rathalos alone for an amount of time that I consider acceptable. So hopefully you're watching this. I don't want to have to take too many attempts at this. That would be unpleasant. And unfortunately, the Astalos is immune to flashes, in my experience. Like, just completely immune. Flying on the ground, wing broken, wing unbroken, just no effect from flashes. But we'll see how things go here. There he is. It's really weird seeing an Astalos in a volcano. Also, both Dread King and Dread Queen in G5 have some flavor of Astalos hanging out. I get it's because they like wanted to prop Astalos up as a rival to Rathalos, but like just one game earlier they propped up Seregios as a rival to Astolo or to Rathalos. And then in Gen, they're like, hey, here's this new flying wyvern. It's a rival to Rathalos. Uh-oh. Ow. Like, how many rivals does Rathalos have? Freaking Laggy was a rival to Rathalos. They don't gotta make everything Rathalos is rival. Save some rivals for the other monster. Uh oh. That attack always scares me because it's pretty much instantly lethal when you have as low lightning res as I do. I just went fishing for my flashes, or at least I was about to. But I can't use him. This guy does not get flashed. But what I really need him to do is to, like, get dead. As fast as possible, really. And whereas the majority of monsters I would try to cut their tails after a mount, this guy, when his face is all charged up, I need to get it discharged for the aforementioned reason that that face energy sword thing is pretty much instantly lethal on me. And if his face isn't charged, he can't use it. So I need to take his ability to use it away from him. Oh boy. Hey, yep. <laughs> this is going to be a quest. Honestly, that move is one of the most damaging in the game. So it's not just because my Thunder Res is low. It's just that my Thunder Res being low is part of it. Like, it might be survivable with my armor level if my Thunder Res was higher. But, like, if you take a Lance against the Super Astalos Deviant, the HR-100 one. If you block that attack, the chip damage still does more than half your health. So, like... Okay, it is survivable. That's good. He's not enraged. So, uh... 
If he's not raging, it is survivable from full health. I need to get rid of him, but also his face charge. But also him, because it turns out if he's dead, he can't use that move. But hey, his face isn't charged right now. That's good for us. In before it gets charged like now, because he just enraged. Yep, that didn't last long. Uh-oh. Ah. I hate that the tail sweeping through you like that just paralyzes you, because... I usually can't get out of the way in time, and if I get paralyzed, I'm getting hit by the burst, which also does pretty significant damage. So I don't want to try and find out exactly how much damage that move can do to me when he's enraged. I'm just going to assume it's too much, and we'll just go from there. I want him dead. I want him very dead. And yet, I'm kind of afraid to approach him when he's raging like this. Well, he's not raging right now. Good. That means he can't one-shot me. He can only two-shot me. Or one-shot and chip damage. Also, that little uh, static it electricity vortex thing he does. Super fun when you're starting to sharpen right as he uses it. <laughs> then it sucks you in and you take the explosion, guaranteed. Oh, that was close. Uh, this is gonna hurt. Ow! Well, hey, he discharged himself. I need health. I need health bad. It's not even Astalo's time yet. Can you, like, not? This episode's supposed to be about Dread King. But the Astalos is easily the hardest part of this quest. Like, if I get the Dread King alone, I'm not going to be too concerned, because I've got, like, a million flashes. Ooh, jumped off the stun gun. Oh, no. He'll always do a hop backwards before using that attack from the ground, so, like, you can see it coming. But... Whenever I see a monster that I'm trying to hit hop backwards, my first instinct is, okay, time to chase it so that I can keep hitting it. But for him, I really need to change it so that my first instinct is, okay, time to just let him stay away and dodge to the side. Because I do not like taking attacks that deal so much of my health and damage. And he recharges his face so frequently that I don't think it's really that worth going for at this point. I just jumped off that electric thing he shot. I hope I get to use this footage. Okay, let's get out of there. I've got an armor set that makes this guy significantly easier, but it's of no real help against the Dread King that we're going to fight, so that's why I'm not wearing it. Then again, this is just my generic armor set. I don't have any special skills to make it good against Dread King. I just... Basically, I'd be sacrificing some damage skills to be... Did I just jump off just some energy that happened to be there? What the hell? But yeah, uh, sacrificing damage for an easier time against the monster that isn't the target just seems wrong to me. But then again, killing the Astalos more easily means killing the Rathalos more easily. 
because I won't have to deal with the two of them together. All right, he put me on the side with the tail, so we're going for the tail. Let me sharpen in safety. Nope. Yeah, buddy, your crest isn't that long. Ooh. Ow. Yeah, that burst. It hurts. It hurts bad. Gonna eat me some of this. Of course, the cat just made it a little bit of a waste. Actually, a lot of bit of a waste. Oh, no! Okay. We're safe. Um. Bye. Kind of wish we could have seen that little crest slam down on where we were. That would have been kind of cool. Sure, the Thunderblight stops right as I start using my Nullberry. Thanks, game. Oh no, the Dread King's gonna show up any minute now. And we are not really very close to killing this Astalos. At least I certainly don't feel like we are very close to it. Maybe they've reduced his health. That would be nice, but I doubt it. Ooh. Things like that knockdown certainly help, though it would help more if I aimed properly when doing my burst there, because then we would have actually gotten to use it. Eh. Oh! Ow! Well, we just took one while he was enraged. So that means something. Doesn't mean something I'm happy about. Uh, let's go ahead and use that. That way we can safely heal. I don't want to risk another death quite so soon. And this time we actually did get the effect of the fish. Okay, and... Yeah, I did bring stuff to make more regular potions, so... It was worth it to use that one right there to top off, because when I'm topped off, I don't get one shot. I'll take a two-shotting over a one-shotting. Oh, uh, how nice would it be if this was the only two-deviant quest where they just waited instead of having the second one show up after a certain time. That would be great. I would love that. Then I might actually have a real chance. I want to have a real chance. Wow, that actually goes a little bit farther to the side than I expected. Oh, wow, he just got fully charged just in time to get tired and thus completely discharged. That's fine. Though admittedly him being tired and therefore discharged is a little bad for us. Because while it does mean we're safer, it means we can't do as much damage to him because his charged parts take significantly more damage. Like, I don't think we can actually get Weakness Exploit to trigger on an Astalos that doesn't have any parts charged. And we're talking, like, not even... Like, the normal... Dang it. Yeah, this normal charge that, Ast or that the Deviant Astalos has by default, like, not even the blue charge is still enough for us to get our damage boost. Ow! No! Please, no. I want to live. Okay. I ran out of stamina while running along the path of that electric thing. Also, apparently, I forgot to grab a new 
Farcaster the last time I visited the base camp. So, yeah. This is going well. Let's drink us some of this. And some of this. And some of this. And we've already taken all the... No, we haven't taken all the cool drinks. Good. Okay. Time for hell. A Dread King and a regular Astalos gave me trouble the first time I was doing that Dread Queen quest. Dread King plus this Astalos. I am not pleased about. Oh, no. Oh. Astalos, please just keel over. Keel over. Just get dead. Stay dead. Just just be dead. It's all I ask of you. Stop being alive. It's my only request. I don't care if you give me nothing but garbage carbs. Just die. I don't care if I don't get to carve you. I just want you gone. Okay, I was a little worried that we would still get caught by the beam there, but I guess we didn't. No! Don't use scary attacks at me. That counts as a scary attack, sir. Hey, we discharged the face. And hey, Ra Rathalos got us clear of the burst, but not clear of the damage. No, 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 no. Okay. Um, this is, this is going swimmingly. Everything is definitely according to plan. I should have used a fish. It would have been about the same amount of healing. Yes, nothing is wrong. Everything is exactly as it's supposed to be. Yes. This is a fun quest for nice people. That's what this is. Eh. I, I don't know what's where anymore. Oh, hey. You got a knockdown from a wing discharge, I'm guessing. Uh, why? Like, if my weapon's out, there's nothing I can do to avoid the burst. Because I can't dodge far enough to avoid it. Especially not if I get paralyzed by the tail. Like, maybe I could dodge far enough to avoid it. Or, no, not far enough. But maybe I could dodge with proper timing to avoid it. Maybe discharging the tail prevents him from using that. I don't even know. Will I ever find out? Maybe. But probably not during this quest. Great. Both my cats are dead, so Rathalos is just going to be all over me when this Astalos comes down. That's exactly the situation I want to be in. Oh, hey, we broke the tail. I really wish cutting the tail came with a discharge. That would be nice. Just having that tail not be charged. Yeah. Seems like a nice thing that is desirable. Eh, couldn't get out in time because was putting weapon away. 
Need, need, need leave. Need leave. Bye. I'm not a happy camper. <laughs> oh, it feels like a waste to use it in the base camp, but I want my cats back. I want my cats back bad. Okay, and a null berry. Because I don't like Thunderblight. And back down we go. Oh, oh, I forgot to grab another Farcaster. There's only one left, but for the moment, we can only return there by dying. Hopefully, we don't need to. Okay, Astalos, I'm begging you. Just, just get killed. Very soon. As soon as possible. Just, just die. It's all I want. All I want from you. Just, just you to die. Please, grant my wish. I don't care if I do it, if Rathalos does it, if my cat does it. Just do it yourself for all I care. Just die. Oh no. Oh no, that, that was some pretty long reach. And I really need to start running not away from the direction of the pull of the static sphere if I want to avoid that. That's what I'm thinking. Because that just makes me run slower, which makes me a super easy target. And that's exactly the type of target I don't want to be. <laughs> okay. And one of these. And then grab the extra from there and down we go. We can come back to base camp one more time, but we can't cart again. I like how he launched off a firework. Hello, Astalos. How does it feel getting the spotlight in an episode that's not dedicated to you, you jerk? I imagine it feels pretty good. Rathalos, I know this is about you and you're very special. You've got your back that's bigger and spikier than a regular Rathalos's. You've got your flame, which is just all kinds of nasty. You've got a much more bold pattern on your wings. You've got a lot going for you that regular Rathaloses don't, but I can't afford to focus on you right now. But apparently I also can't afford not to because I'm getting ruined. Okay, I think now is the time to use this. And as soon as our cat shows up in here, there. And then we'll use this and we'll do our combining. We'll make that so that then we can make 10 of these. And then we'll make eight more of these. And hopefully we get the Astalos dead, because I'm beginning to think that just as long as we can spend some time focusing on the Rathalos, that'll be enough for me. At least enough for me if I'm going to use this quest. So I need that Astalos dead. I need it dead very soon. Because otherwise, things are just going to go bad again and again. It might even be worth just using flashes, not for the Astalos, but just to keep the Rathalos off us. Not even to get knockdowns on the Rathalos, just to keep them from playing together. But of course that was too far and now he's flying and his wing isn't broken, so. There. 
Now leave me alone with this fiend. Oh, okay. That was for a cat, not for me. Apparently both cats are dead. That's bad. Oh, yay! Okay. Okay. Now I can relax a bit. Not a lot. I forgot to put regular flashes in the item set. Thankfully, I've still got ten of them. But we're going to use one right here, even though it's not getting us a knockdown. Or anything at all. Why did I use another one? He's not... He's not wing broken yet. I just wasted a flash. Put your feet on the ground, jerk. That is the exact opposite of what I asked. This quest is so stressful. Turn around. Thank you. And now I'm getting my carbs. I said I didn't care if I didn't get them, but I want them because I actually need them. Oh, don't you dare come for me before I get this last carve. Thanks. Now I need to sharpen, but there's a Rathalos here, and he's... He's mean. All right, so we gotta get this guy on the floor so that we can break a wing. Unfortunately, unlike Dread Queen, he does have some attacks that are capable of getting us very, very low on health in one hit. So we do have some things to worry about. But we don't have an Astalus to worry about. That makes this quest worlds easier. I don't know what it is, but the electric deviants just get me every time. I don't know if it's because they're actually harder, if it's because I'm just not good at them, but one of the two must be true. And unfortunately, he was too much against the lava there for us to get really good hits on the wing. But it's not like he's going to be next to lava forever. And we can still do some jumps. Would have gone in, but I still didn't have, or I didn't have enough energy to actually use sword mode, so I didn't want to go in until I was charged, and then by the time I was, I wasn't sure I would be safe. And I do need to maintain safety, because otherwise this quest will be over. And I don't want it to be over just yet. I want to be able to devote, like, some time to just this guy alone. It's kind of the point of this episode. Oh yes, you're very good at swooping. But are you good at putting your feet on the ground? Apparently not. There we go. Stay on the ground for a while, would you? There we go. That's a wing break. And now we can start abusing flashes. Oh, he's tired. We might not need to abuse him for a little while. That's an unfortunate flinch to get. Would have been able to do more damage to him had he not flinched. Let's get this energy charge going. I like energy charge. Especially when I have a chance to use it. Hey, uh, you want to not hang out in the lava? I see he's poisoned. Oh, 
Honestly, now that his wing is broken, there are no super valuable breaks for us to get. Though, cutting the tail is probably still worth doing because of the whole reducing the range of his tail sweeps thing. So I'll be going for that. Breaking the face might make it take more damage, but unlike Dread Queen, his face is always a weak X zone, so it's not a huge deal whether we break it or not. Let's just use this jump to reload. Flash out. Flash too far. Ooh. Okay, we need more flashes. For whatever reason, I was thinking I had used my last one, but apparently I hadn't. So we've still got six more. Flash out. That one worked. And because we can reach it, we're going for the face this time. Perhaps not the wisest course of action. Oh, uh, it would have been nice if that was a true health horn. I like true health horns. They heal me for more. I like having health. It's one of my favorite things to have. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're good at biting. You get it. Eh, that was a little scary. was a little worried I would be jumping directly into its path. It's a thing that's happened before. Yeah. I really want to take a good look at Dread King's back, because, like, the spike ridges along his back are much taller than on a regular Rathalos. It's one of the most visible distinctions between the two other than just the coloration like it almost makes him look like a freaking it looks like he's got his back kind of hunched when he's just standing like this it's kind of weird but unfortunately he's not really doing much holding still for us to take a look at owl and my trying to get a good angle to see it from got me flame chomped oh we're out of cool drink right now um, we'll fix that in a bit. Yeah, go for the cat, but miss the cat, because we want the cat alive, because that's the healer cat. Yeah, no, let's, let's not use a life powder just yet. This might be a bad idea. Okay, that was a just fine idea. Yeah. If he had turned towards me, it would have worked. How about now? No, oh, that was way too far. I'm wasting my flashes. I need to not do that. Because, like, they're what keep this guy manageable. Because letting him just be a jerk in the sky the whole time isn't helpful to anyone. That's a healing horn coming. Oh, I don't have antidotes in this item set because this item set was originally made for a cantor. Thankfully, heal cat was on the job. But we only have two mega potions left. So, like, we gotta step up our damage output or step down our damage input or else this quest is going to end in failure. I'd really rather it didn't, because I don't want to have to deal with that Astalos again, like, ever. Though I am pleased to say that, though you already know that I've approved this for your viewing, I can now tell myself that, yes, this is good enough that I am willing to let it stand as the Dread King episode. Which is good, because this was my first attempt at this quest. And, yeah, it's... It's going a little better than I was expecting. Not as well as I had hoped. Of course it's not going as well as I had hoped. I had hoped that it would just be a lot easier than I was expecting, but no. Way to just use that in completely the wrong direction, cat. 
Oh man, I need to not take all this damage. Um, yeah, go for the cat. Let me use this fishing piece. It's not much healing at that point, but it's some. And that matters. And that should get it. Yep, there's the heal cat back. I don't think I've ever seen one of those explosions from that far away before. It's definitely nicer than seeing them up close. Okay, let's, let's not get bit. Those flame chomps, the flame does have a pretty wide range, which is annoying. Why'd you have to flap backwards? There we go. Another flash that worked. Dang it. Why you gotta do that to me, Tail? Okay, did I just break the other wing? I think so. No, I broke the back. Just getting rid of his big crest. I'm gonna stay down. Thankfully, as everyone knows, if you lay down on top of an explosion, you will not get hurt. That's why people always toss themselves onto grenades. It's to shield themselves, not to shield their friends. I want to grab the sparkly, but I also want to not die for it, because dying for it means the quest is over. Yeah, I'll just... I'll let that sparkly be. Seems now isn't the time. Is now the time? Yeah, sure, why not? Yep, now was the time. So that's my healer cat that's getting trashed, which is not good for me. Okay, let's just go for the face because it's right here. There's the break. Ow. Oh boy, I'm the only target. My health is ultra low. Thankfully, the Rathalos isn't angry. Oh, why did I think we only had two of these? I don't know, but I'm glad to be wrong. So very glad to be wrong. And hey, he's tired, so that means we actually do have a chance to heal here. Okay, we're in better shape than I thought. That's good. I like being in better shape than I thought. Oh, you know what I think it was that we might have had two of at the time? Flashes. That would make some sense. Well, I shouldn't use them when he's not raging, because that's just a waste, because he doesn't fly so much when he's not raging. He's much more likely to hop down onto the ground when he is not enraged. As long as he's not in the air, we're doing fine. Looks like we got the tail break at some point. Damn it, tail! Most Rathlos tails don't do that to me. Okay, there goes wing number two. So the tail, which was the second break I was going to go for... It is the last break for us to get. And since he's angry, I'll just get this ready, though I'm going to just move away from that. I think being over here where there's more space is definitely preferable. Though admittedly, it means nothing if he stays over there launching fireballs at me. Ooh, yes. Oh, no. Well, so much for the flashes. Now we're at his whim as for when we can hit him. Because basically there's not much we can do to him while he's flying. Because it's really dangerous to approach him. So we need him to just stay on the ground. And we gotta stay not in front of him. 
if we can avoid it. I would love to clear this quest and thus never have to deal with it again. Because I am not making his armor. <laughs> not if it means doing this quest more. That claw attack, I'm pretty sure, is the one that's an auto stun from this guy. I want this quest to be over. I don't care if his tail doesn't get cut, I just want him to die. Ow! Okay. Need health. But he's coming for me. Okay. Now's a good chance. Now is an even better chance. And now we're good. Yeah, he is definitely the easier part of this quest. Ow. Thanks for the herb horn. Huge difference it made. Oh yes, please give me a good horn. Yeah. I wish I wasn't out of dash juices. Because now I have to have stamina for the rest of the quest. Which admittedly is only 10 minutes, but still. now, that's fine. You want to maybe land? Ever? Or at least hover in one spot long enough for me to hit your tail some? Like, those are the two things I need. I could, I could live with either. Ow. Not a huge ow, but I'm staying on the ground for a bit. Okay. And my cool drink ran out. That's not ideal. And my cats ran out. Okay, let's get that health. And then when I see an opportunity, like now, cool drink, and I need to sharpen because we're at white, and the white lasts like no time at all. And yet, will this guy let me sharpen? Looks like probably not, but actually yes. Because he doesn't know his own aim, I guess. That's a tail flinch, so the cut can't be too far off. Ooh. And that time we didn't go over the tail, so now it's closer than ever to being severed. Oh, uh, let's not be where the explosions are gonna. Ah. Uh, cat, please help. No, oh, you're, you're too dead to help. Oh no, okay, good. He's giving us time to get stamina back. I need to roll, get rid of that fire blight. Okay. Health. Need health. But also need Rathalos not be jerk. These two goals might be at odds with one another. Oh, yes, cat, please. Yes. Thank you. Oh, that true health horn means a lot. Okay. All right. We are alive. We are staying alive for the foreseeable future. Though, admittedly, the foreseeable future is not very long at this point. Oh, hey, we got a tail hit. I can tell that the tail is not quite ready to be cut because he didn't fall down from that hit. 
whereas a tail that is ready to be cut when hit in flight will always get you a knockdown every time. It's actually a really nice thing about tail cutting. In fact, if you know that the tail is just one hit away from being cut, you can intentionally avoid it except when the monster is flying and thus get knockdowns galore. But I want it to just be cut. Okay, jumped off his wing. Ooh! Oh, why you gotta do this? Eh. Ah! I hate how much reach that has. I also hate how dead my cats are. When they're alive, I tend to be more alive. All right, energy charge. If we kill this guy, it's gonna be right down to the wire in terms of both our remaining healing and the time. But oh boy, do I wanna kill this guy. Ow! I hate taking direct hits from those fireballs. They hurt. Five minutes. Not much healing. All right, true health horn definitely helps. Okay, gotta use our first ration here. Ooh, he's tired. That is definitely helpful. Of course, this is going to end up being like yet another mount while he's tired, which means we don't get Challenger. But it also means that we do succeed on the mount, like almost guaranteed. So, I mean, it's not all bad. Though it'd be nice if Challenger still worked when they were tired. That's kind of not what the skill is. Please die. Just be almost dead. Ooh, that was a really good flinch, flinching him out of that enrage thing, and thus also skipping his back hop. Ooh, another good flinch. Though admittedly, slightly less good. Could have been worse, though. He could have actually pegged us with that. That would have been significantly worse. Okay. We do not have much time here, but I need to sharpen, and my cat's dead. Oh, this isn't good. Okay, yeah, stay over there. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Okay. We have failed. But we put forth a valiant effort. I cut his tail. I broke everything he had, so he probably was pretty close to bed. Yeah, that Astalos kind of wrecked us. But hey, we definitely got enough footage of Dread King there, so yay. I don't have to do this again solo, at least. Maybe someday I'll come back with a group, but not for a while. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Join us next time when we finish out Wrath Week with Silver Rathalos. See you then, friends.